In this video, we're going to look how to, at how to integrate with Canvas. Now, usually it's best to uh, create all your content in the system first before initiating the integration process. So we're going to go ahead and go to Course Items Export over here in the left. Um, I'm going to export uh, the entire course here and select the LMS that you're going to use. Again, in this video, we're going to talk about Canvas. So there's a few options for Canvas. The first is uh, whether or not you want to include an app configuration or not. Um, if you already have a school-wide uh, LTI connection or credential set up, then you are going to not want to include this. And down here I can see that it looks like my school may already have one. But I'm going to go ahead and pretend like we don't so that I can show you the whole process. Um, and then there's options for whether you want to bring into Canvas the systems, gradebook, uh, settings and categories and due dates and things like that. Now with Canvas, there's a special option to allow Canvas to set the due dates in the system. Now normally, the due dates come in with the import, but then if you later change the due dates in the system, it get, does not get reflected in Canvas and vice versa. Uh, Canvas has a special feature which does allow you to let Canvas control the due dates. Um, so if you want to use that option, you can select this um, checkbox here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enable it just for fun. Okay. So let's go ahead and download the export cartridge and that's going to download a file to our computer. And uh, now you'll see a link here for setup instructions and this is going to give you the instructions that um, I'm going to describe in this video. So uh, if you need a reminder of what we're talking about, here it is in the help file. And you're also going to need these two pieces of information. Uh, so we're just going to leave those up here. Now I'm going to pull up Canvas here. Uh, and so here is my Canvas course. Uh, and from your ideally empty Canvas course, though if you have stuff in it already, that's fine. We're going to go to Settings. And then Import Course Content. Now under content type, we're going to select Canvas uh, Course Export Package and then select off of our computer that file that we just downloaded. For content, we're going to typically say All Content and then click Import and I'll be back after it finishes running. Now typically, you'll see this sort of two issues thing if you uh, don't already have a global uh, LTI connection set up. That's because we now have to configure it. So let's go back to the settings page and now we're going to click on the apps tab and then view app configurations and look for the um, the MyOpenMath or whichever system you're on. If you're on WAMAP, it'll say WAMAP. If you're on a different system, it'll have that name. Uh, and look for that app without the little lock symbol. If you see one with a lock symbol, that suggests that there is a global or system-wide key and secret set up already. But we're going to go ahead and configure a course level one just for demonstration purposes. So go ahead and select Edit from the little gear icon drop down. And here we're going to need to put in the consumer key and secret. So that was back in our course, the key is our consumer key and our secret is our uh, secret, shared, shared secret. And leave all the rest of the settings alone and click Submit. And that's going to go ahead and update it. Now, so now if we go back to the modules page for this course, you'll notice that everything that was in my uh, in my open math or whatever system you're using has now been imported into Canvas. Now, it's important to distinguish how things get imported. So things like links or text items or discussion forums get brought directly into Canvas and are now native in Canvas. When you click on this discussion forum, it's going to be a forum in Canvas, not a forum in 
my open math or the other system. The difference is assessments. Um, instead of because Canvas can't you know do the types of questions that the system can handle, when you click on this link, it's going to instead embed the system, my open math or WAMAP or OM, uh, on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and it's very important that you as the teacher click one of these before making anything available to students. So I'm going to click this, and the system is going to ask me to log in. Uh, it's only going to ask me to do this once, um, and it's asking me this because it needs to be able to associate me as an instructor, uh, my Canvas account with my my Open Math account. Now, st again, students won't have to do this, so don't worry about that, and you will only have to do that once. All right, so now we need to uh, tell my Open Math what we want it to do, and there's two options here. I can either associate my Canvas course with my existing course on my Open Math, or I can tell it my open math to create a copy of my existing course. Now, if you just created the course, this is your first time using it, it makes sense to go ahead and associate with your existing course. But if your existing course is uh, like a master course or the course that you used last term or something like that, it's a strongly recommended that you go ahead and create a copy. Otherwise, you're going to have students from one term mixed with students from uh, uh, the current term. And so by creating a copy of the course, it, it keeps the students sort of separated and the records separated. Uh, so let's go ahead and, again, because this is my first time, I'm going to associate it with my existing course. And then there we go. You see that the assignment is now embedded here inside of Canvas, uh, and it's set up and ready to go for students. Um, if we were to go back and click on any other assignment, um, like the Section 1-2 assignment, it's not going to ask for any of that stuff. Everything's already set up now, and it will just work. Now, when students come in, they're going to click, and it's just going to take them directly into the assignment. They won't see this top bar here. They'll just see the assignment. They'll do the problems, and then uh, the grade will get sent back to Canvas and get recorded in the grade book. And so the grades will show up in Canvas's grade book. All right, uh, and that is the gist of how to uh, integrate with uh, Canvas. Now, a few just details to cover because this comes up fairly often. Uh, if you were in to go back to my open math and work on anything here. If you were to add or change one of these text items or a forum or something like that, you're not going to see that change in Canvas because we've already imported that into Canvas. So any change now will not be reflected. However, for the assessments, because those are just embedded into Canvas, if we were to say add or remove questions from the assignment, or if we were to change the assignment settings, those would get reflected in what we see in Canvas. The exception to that is due dates. Um, if we haven't told Canvas that it can control the due dates, you'll notice here it's saying that the course setting is, is set up to allow the dates to be set via LTI. So right now we're just saying, Canvas, you're in charge of dates, um, and my open math is just going to follow whatever Canvas tells it. No, if you don't have that enabled, though, then if you were to change the due dates in my open math, that would, um, while those would be enforced, it would not change the due date that displays in Canvas. And likewise, if you were to change the date in Canvas, it would not affect my open math. Um, so just things to be aware of, uh, and there we go. One last little thing. Um, in most cases, you're not going to need to worry about this, but if you were to later add another assignment in my open math and wanted that in Canvas, um, the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and go to Course Items Export and just select the individual items you want to export and then import them in. 
that way you're it's just simpler than doing it any other way all right so that is how you integrate with canvas